So um, for the break, we were talking about Christmas 2018, right? Yeah. Um, I want to go back now, and I want to talk to you about the night of December 28th, 2018, okay? Yeah. <clears throat> and again, I try to try to talk into the microphone and keep your voice up when you can, please, okay? So we talked about, you know, when you left Throwbacks, you know, you said you wanted to go home to your family, right? Yes. Okay. Um, so what happened when you got home? I got home <clears throat> earlier than I had anticipated, um, or even that uh, Kate had anticipated. <laughs> Lego set. Uh, I got him this um, 750 piece Lego. Um, it's a Star Wars X Wing fighter. Um, him and I both really like Star Wars, and Legos obviously was you know, his thing. And Had you bought him that <coughs> for Christmas just yeah. a few days prior? Yeah. Okay. Um, and what was he doing with the Legos? He either just finished it. Was finishing up. Um, he, was, he was so excited to show me, you know. And it was, and it was, it was cool. I mean, he's he's ten, and in less than four hours, he, he did a seven hundred and fifty piece Lego set by himself. talk to Jonathan then in the kitchen? I, I did, but I, I think it was just, just briefly. Um, what did you do after that? I uh, went upstairs to let Kate know I was home. Um, she, I mean, she probably already knew, but um, I, I don't remember where she was or whatever. I just wanted to let her know I was home. Um, I don't remember if I saw Zoe she might have been in the bedroom with Jamie, just hanging out. Okay. And what did you do after, you know, greeting Kate? <clears throat> I went and took a shower. Why'd um, you take a shower? Because I, I just left the bar, you know. It smelled like booze and cigarettes, and and, uh, and she had wanted me to. It was. She Kate had, had wanted you to. Yeah. Before I left, you know, she said, you know, w wake me up when you get home. You know, take a shower and, and wake me up when you get home. Okay. Um, and, you know, you've, you've been in here throughout this trial. You've, you've seen, you know, copies of your text messages between each other that day, right? Yeah. Was there any other reason that, that, you know, you anticipated she wanted you to, you know, take a shower and wake her up? Well, I mean, yeah, we were, I mean, it was, we were going to have sex, you know, or, I mean, at, at least just, just be there with each other, you know, even, even if we just talked, it would, you know. And Darren, at that point, you know, after you took a shower, you know, were you drunk? How you know? How intoxicated were you at that point? I had a little buzz, but it was. I mean, I wasn't like. I was, certainly wasn't fall down or anything. I could, you know, just, and I shouldn't have drove, but you know, I can't drive anyway. Um, I was, I was fine. I felt fine. Um, you already told us sort of about the amount, you know, of beer, and you said you had one shot at the bar. Was that an average amount for you on a night out? On a night out, yeah. Okay. 
glasses. I mean, like a bucket of beer is, is, is nothing. That would be a typical amount you would drink if you were going out? I would say so. Okay. And you said on a night out, so maybe not every day. No, not every day. Okay. What happened then after you got out of the shower? You said you laid on the bed and just you stayed in the bedroom. Were you just waiting for Kate eventually, I guess, to come to bed? Yeah, I, I guess I just assumed that she was putting the kids to bed and everything. You know, um, I was probably messing with my phone or maybe the iPad or something. I, I don't know. Okay. And so then did Kate eventually come into the bedroom? Yeah. Okay, tell, me, tell me about that. What happened when she first came into the bedroom? so confusing because like I wasn't expecting what happened she she came in and like I think she was standing at the foot of the bed and she's like in my face but not like literally in my face and she said something about that little boy is really hurt that you didn't acknowledge his, his Legos enough or, or, or something like that. Um, like, it just felt like her sole purpose to go in there was, was to pick a fight. And, and it just threw me off. Do you remember, you know, what you said next? S something like, to be kidding me. And what did she say? I, I, I don't know. Um, what is the next thing you remember being said? The next thing I remember is we were in the bathroom. And we were arguing back and forth, and I don't know how long. I don't think it was, I don't think it was very long at all. making me feel just insignificant like I didn't, I didn't understand how did that fight make you feel Get it to seem like it was out of left field. Okay. What do you remember next being said? I know you said you don't remember exactly what was said, but you end up in the bathroom. What is being said in the bathroom that you can remember? I said something along the lines of I can't do anything right, or no matter what I do, it's not good enough. Okay, and, and what did, did Kate say? How did, how were you feeling at that moment? I don't remember feeling anything. Like, I mean. What was going through your mind? This thing is nothing. There's, there, there, there's. I mean, I'm an 
expecting her to come and pick a fight with me, and I'm most certainly not expecting her to slap me. Kate's not a violent or physical person at all. What do you remember after she told you to get the fuck out of the house and slap you across the face? What do you remember next? I grabbed her and pushed her down. Um, I think I may have swung at her a couple times. What do you remember next? Her and I struggling. They struggling. Do you, I mean, do you mean a, a physical fight? Not. Yes and no. What do you mean by struggling? <coughs> she was she was trying to grab me from behind and, and it's like I had I had my gun in my hand and she's like trying to grab from my arms or wrists or the, the, I don't know. And so I want to stop you there, Darren. So you said that the gun was in your hand at this point. Do you remember going and opening the safe in the nightstand? No. And, you know, again, you, you've been here throughout throughout this trial and everything, and you've seen the photos, and, and you know what your nightstand safe looked like. It had a code on the top, right? Yeah. And so that, normally, you would have kept that locked? Yeah, always. Okay. And so you said you don't remember opening the safe, but you agree you would have had to open the safe to get that gun out? Yeah. Okay. And do you remember here today what the combination of that safe was? Yeah, it was, it was my birthday. I mean, it was, it was either it was 0226 or 226. Okay. And is that something, you know, how often would you have opened that safe? Probably regularly. Um, okay. And so that was a code. You said it was your birthday. Yeah. There was... A lot, a lot of like, you know, passwords and codes for things around the house were related around somebody's birthday. Okay, um, but for for that gun safe in the nightstand, it was your birthday. It was yeah. either zero two two six or two two six. Yeah. And you feel like that's something you did pretty frequently. Yeah, I. Yeah, it was just. It, it wasn't. It was like a no brainer. It was an easy easy number to remember. But again, that night you don't specifically remember. Remember specifically putting it in. I don't. I mean, I just I did it so many times. You know, I couldn't tell you that it was. I don't know. Okay. And then you know we've also seen some photos from the from the state from the crime scene there where there's some beer cans in your open safe. Do you recall seeing that? some of the pictures. Right, the pictures. Um, would you have normally kept beer cans in the safe? No. I had too many refrigerators for that. Okay. So, would those, I mean, would it have been unusual then for you to keep beer, like an empty beer can on your nightstand? It was frowned upon, but it wasn't unusual. No. Um, Those would have had to been maybe from, from Wednesday before. Okay. So, again, it would not have been unusual maybe a couple nights before, a night before or something, you had left a beer can, an empty beer can on the nightstand. Yeah. I, I mean, I know it wouldn't have been the night before because okay. I, w I went to bed early with a really bad headache. Okay. Okay. Um, and then do you remember drinking a beer that night, this night we're talking about, December 28th, when you came home? Did, yeah. I, I don't remember. Okay. Okay, so 
you said that you guys were struggling in the bedroom, um, and, and you said, I think Kate was trying to reach for the gun. Yeah. Okay, tell me what you remember after that. Okay, it went off. Can you describe to me what's going through your mind at this point? nothing going through your mind. I don't, I don't understand what was happening. I, what do you mean by that? You don't understand what was happening. I don't even know how I got over there. We were in the, we were in the bathroom. And, and now I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with her? This doesn't make any sense. And since you said you remember the gun going off, what do you remember after that? It went off again. She fell. You remember the gun only going off two times in the bedroom then? Yeah. Okay. And you said she fell. What do you remember after that? Being in the other bedroom. So the next thing you remember from after when Kate fell was being in the other bedroom. Yeah. What happened next? remember everything being dark. Like, I don't know, like, it's almost like wearing sunglasses inside, like, you know, and I can remember Jane This is the, the case. So I'm learning all this stuff just now, but like I thought she was on the other side of the bed, like by the window. I vaguely remember her being on the phone. Do you, uh, do you remember hearing what she was saying or who she was on the phone with? I mean, I think I can remember her saying he's got a gun. This whole thing, like this whole process, like I can't, I don't know what's happening. Like, I mean, like I'm there, but I'm not there. Like, what do you mean by you're there, but you're not there? Can you tell me, describe like, that it's, more? It's like looking through somebody else's eyes, you know? Like, thing I can come close to describing it as is, is like being a character in a video game and, and I know Dr. Hendricks said it was Mortal Kombat but it, that you felt like you were in a video it was game like, it was like I don't like Call of Duty like all you can see on the TV screen it's just hands and like a like a, a, a gun or whatever. That's and everything is everything is, is, is just dark. There's a certain awareness, but it's not it's not the same as control. You feel like you're in control? No. So, so what do you remember happening next then? Do you remember shooting Jane in the face? I didn't even know I shot her in 
the face and so this trial started. And what, what do you remember next? Seen her. Don't remember seeing her. Oh. I think I know where she was, but I don't. I don't know. What about Jonathan? Do you remember shooting him three times? I remember shooting him once. What do you remember about shooting him once? What do you remember seeing? Just him curled up in a little ball. Baron, do you remember saying anything to Jane or Jonathan or Zoe? No. Remember them saying anything? 